16 cooking tips divulged by professional chefs. Professional chefs usually keep their best cooking practices and secrets as hidden as possible, but today we found some of their best tips and we're telling you all about them. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be taking a look at 16 super interesting cooking tips divulged by professional chefs. Stay until the end of our video to find out all about these incredible cooking tips that you should be implementing. And also, subscribe to our channel for more great videos like today. Without further ado, let's begin with our countdown. Number 16. Mise en place The single most important tip every chef should know is to have their mise ready before starting. An abbreviation of the French term mise en place means you get all your prepared items in one place before you even turn on the stove. You should do this every time you cook at home, as you're avoiding risks when you begin cooking or forget one crucial item that might mess up your whole recipe in the end by not putting it in on time. Number 15. Set your timer for a few minutes less than called for time. Not only do ovens often heat differently, but you'll also never really know how yours handles a new protein or veggie at first. That's all to say you can always fix an undercooked situation. There's nothing to do once you've gone over, so make sure to cut off some extra minutes and begin right after. Number 14. Taste and season as you go. Taste and season your food as you prepare it to make sure all the flavors are on the right place. You shouldn't wait until the final product to taste it and waste all your efforts. Instead of putting all that effort in only to be disappointed, taste while you cook. That way you'll realize sooner that the dish isn't tasting how you'd like it to and that you can make all kinds of last ditch efforts to save it. This doesn't work for bad to okay meals. Tasting midway through and realizing how a perfect dash of spice or some cooking wine would be a great way to take dinner to a professional chef level. Number 13. Save the schmaltz and the bacon fat. Chicken fat is amazing stuff, whether you're frying onions in it, sauteing greens in it, or spreading it on toast. So after eating your roast chicken dinner, drain the now cooled liquid fat into a plastic container and store it in your freezer. There is no limit on how many things you can do with your leftover bacon grease. Fry your eggs in it, fry your potatoes in it, or use it for something. But the possibilities are endless. Number 12. Finish pasta in the pan. If you want to take your pasta to the next level, then you should finish it in the pan before plating it and squirting the sauce right on the middle. On the stove, there should be two pans, one with pasta and one with sauce. Cook the pasta to al dente and transfer it into the sauce. Then add a bit of pasta water, which will help the sauce cling to the pasta while also keeping the right consistency. Perfection. Number 11. Use a lot of salt on your steak. When cooking, too much salt is usually a big problem. However, steak is different, as the more salt you add to it, the better. Use a generous amount of coarse kosher salt, more than you think you need. Since most cuts of steak are pretty thick, even though you're using a lot of salt, it's still only covering the surface. Some chefs like to use salt on a steak well in advance of cooking, even up to 24 hours in advance. Others say salting it right before cooking is best. Try out both of these methods and see which one works best for you. Number 10. Read the whole recipe before cooking. This one should be pretty obvious, yet it's surprising the amount of people that avoid reading the whole recipe before cooking. This one seems like a no-brainer, but we've definitely found ourselves in a situation where we've assumed we knew all the ingredients that went into chocolate chip cookies, only to find out we had half the required amount of brown sugar, and everything ends up being a mess. Remember to comprehensively read the recipe closely before you begin cooking, and bonus points if you have your mise en place before that too. Number 9. Clean your iron pans with salt. Many don't know this incredibly powerful cooking life hack, but the best way to clean your iron pans is with salt. It's a fast and easy way to soak up the oils that could go rancid in the pan without using soap that will break down your seasoning and make your pan rusty. It will also help dry out any stuck-on bits for easier removal. Number 8. The key for the perfect roast is cooking for a long time. The key for the perfect roast is cooking it on low temperature for a long time, except when you're roasting veggies. For crispy, perfectly cooked butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, or more, remember the magic number, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're cooking at a lower amount, you'll be risking pulling a pan of bad carrots out of the oven. 
If you want a nice roasted flavor, you'll need the right heat. Number seven, refrigerate your cookie dough. We've all been there, you'll want to bake your cookies ASAP, so you avoid chilling them in the refrigerator for a few hours. You want your cookies now, so you'd rather bake them right away. However, work to take care of your impulses and cravings and actually chill your cookie dough for a couple hours before baking it. In addition to limiting how much the dough spreads while baking, chilling your dough intensifies the flavors that produce perfect chewy, crispy textures that we know and love. Number six, use acid instead of salt. Many people say that when a dish lacks a distinct flavor or needs that extra something, you should just add salt to it. But sometimes salt isn't a one size fits all answer. When you're retasting a dish at the end and you think that it needs a little more power, often it just needs a splash of acid to add in more flavor. Number five, clean as you go. The same way as you taste as you go, you should clean your kitchen as you go. Rather than allowing a mess to pile up as you go, take little breaks to clean surfaces and tools you've already used. Even though it might not feel like it in the moment, it'll save you time and stress later. Number four, use a sizzle platter. Using a sizzle platter changes up the way you cook almost completely, and it will definitely be the difference for your weeknight dinner. This one's used in practically every restaurant for roasting or broiling individual portions of, well, basically anything. It's easier to clean than that of a sheet pan and will make your cooking life much easier and less stressful. Number three, mince garlic by hand. Garlic presses are a waste of money. They compromise the texture of your beloved allium, take time to clean, and actually slow things down. If you want good garlic pieces for your new outstanding kitchen, then go old and reliable by mincing it by hand. Number two, take care of your old tools, knives. Taking care of your knives is super important, as they can be the difference between a stressful cooking experience and a great one. First, practice your knife skills. Look up tutorials on YouTube and practice chopping, slicing, and julienning. It's amazing what you can do with your cook time when your prep time is shortened with solid knife skills. Then, once you've got your skills down pat, learn how to take care of your set. A dull chef's knife will be the same as digging your own grave when cooking. Number one take cookies out before they are done. Same as the tip we mentioned earlier, you should pull the cookies out of the oven a few minutes before they're actually done. Remember that it is always better to undercook than overcook, and cookies will continue to cook on the tray after you take them out of the oven. The result will be crispy, gooey, and tasty cookies that will melt in your mouth. So what's your opinion on these 16 cooking tips told by the most professional chefs in the world? Let us know in the comments. Also make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to the channel for more great videos like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.